Hello Gemini, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 16th of May. So angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like to tell Gemini for the week of the 16th of May for Gemini please? Angels, spirit guides, universe for the week of the 16th of May. For Gemini, for the week of the 16th of May, the full moon, lunar eclipse. For the 16th of May, for the week of the 16th of May, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like, Gemini, to know about the week of the 16th of May? The week of the 16th of May, please, for Gemini. What would you like, Gemini, to know? Too many cards. <laughs> Gemini, come on for Gemini. Give me eight more cards, please, for Gemini. For the week of the 16th of May. Did I have to reverse or not? I think this one is. The last one's reversed. We'll put these up for one. Oh, oh. Right, the 16th of May. Give me one more card, please, for the 16th of May. Angel, Spirit, Guide, Universe. One more card, please, for Gemini. For Gemini, for the week of the 16th of May, please. Week of the 16th of May. Week of the 16th of May. Week of the 16th of May. Okay, so these ones are upside down. That one will be upright. These will be reversed. Okay, so Gemini, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Don't cry over spilt milk. Look around at the two cups that are standing. Okay, you might be jealous. You might be be indecisive, confused, you name it, that's what the Five of Cups is. So, concentrate on the here and now. I need to light a candle for you. Um, this one's fine. So, the first two cards we have, Gemini, are the Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. So, the Three of Pentacles is an upgrade. It's a little bit of money. People are starting to see you as a team leader. You could have got um, a promotion uh, from, you know, being on the shop floor to the manager. And people want to give you money for something you do. Now, there could be something to, it could be within the family that you're getting this upgrade. And this is a divine union, a long-term partnership. It's, it's like a marriage. So you could be getting this upgrade in this marriage or you're working in the family. You're holding on very tightly to your heart and guarding old principles. These need to be let go of so that you can begin again and come into an eye, eye on eye, eye to eye relationship, a new kind of relationship, possibly twin flame relationship that brings you, um, that's, It encompasses the mother, the figure, uh, the empress. If this was you, it would be stand in your power. You're all the queens in one. You're harvesting in an abundance. Someone sees you as an empress. Someone sees you in love. They want a new beginning. They, there's, a, there's, It's like it's brand new. You're letting go of your heart to bring in abundance. There's abundance coming in and it's abundance of love. It could be towards a pregnancy, a mother figure. Um, it's your, she's harvesting all the the crops for waiting for this this baby to come. You know, so it's nesting and stuff. But she's very honoured, and she owns her empire and creates six of cups. Someone from the past is going to make you feel very depressed, stabbed in the back, uh, like you're in prison, like no one is wants to talk to you. It's like whatever you're wishing for, it's very, it's, it's upsetting you. But you're not taking on anyone else's drama here. It's almost, it's like you get upset or depressed and people stabbing you in the back and you're feeling in prison. Justice is coming along to tell these witches, stop, this person needs to rise from the ashes. But what this does, this depression or this mode that you 
lock into yourself. You you swerve the other people's dramas coming at you from the boat to the island. It's like no no no, I'm too depressed. Don't don't call me. I'm really down about this past love or this this nostalgic feelings or this person coming back. I don't want to know. I don't want the drama from it. It could be a mother figure because I've just begun something secure with my twin flame. So you're expressing your love here, your emotions, or this King of Cups coming in to express and take action with you. There's love and there's passion, but this third party situation needs to end so that people can back down and say sorry and know what the truth is to get to the truth. And there's no longer this boredom or this um, gossip going on, okay? So it's an, it's an odd one, Gemini. It feels like you've been given a promotion. People are starting to revere you. There's family involved. You're trying to keep hold of the, your foundation with the bit of money, but you're going to be offered a brand new sturdy beginning, like a gift or a ring, um, to a with a new love. The Empress here could come back from the past, all right? And it makes you feel like you've been dishonoured or depressed or people haven't got your best interest. Your mind is overwhelmed with it. Uh, but separately to that, what happens is you're swerving, you're, you're detouring people's drama, okay? Someone's going to express their love to you. Someone could be a counsellor, be very kind towards you. And this Queen of Wands here is taking action. These seem to be like a couple together, this King and Queen. Uh, you've got a Fire Queen. There's some kind of ending to a third party. It might be an end to a relationship with tears, but people can now back down. There's no longer a stalemate. People can start talking um, and there's... There's no more gossip. Do you know what I mean? It's like you don't need to go to your friends to ask, should I be with this person? Should I not be with this person? There's this, your decision is made. There could be an ending of the drama. It feels like an ending. It's an ending to a relationship, but then there's no longer a stalemate. It's almost like once this ends or this third party ends or you feel a bit stabbed in the heart, you do drop from the 10 to the 3 and then to the 2, which the 2 upside down is almost at the Ace of Swords, which is the only sword you need to guard yourself and block it, block people. And it's the truth. So you're on your way to finding the truth this week. Um, it could be with a twin flame. It could be towards someone else. Let's ask the angels what they would like Gemini to know about this week. Look at this. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Angels, spirit guides for Gemini, please. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Gemini to know about this week of the full moon eclipse in some 16th of May? Angels, spirit guides. I do laugh. I don't mean to laugh. It's like a nervous laugh. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Gemini to know about this 16th of May, the week of the 16th, free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life, um, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime, and flirt, yeah, someone else is coming in, you're ditching that past, you're getting rid of it, angels, all is well, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to, with hidden blessings you will soon understand, I'm going fast because I, I like this reading, and I've tried to do it four times, um, so this stabbing in the back, this imprisonment from someone from the past actually is a blessing in disguise because it brings about an ending of a situation where people can stop gossiping. They're on their way to the actual, actual truth. You're on your way to the truth. It does say caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. Someone could come round and hurt you or there could be these, this mental overwhelm from past, um, this past mother figure or... Someone from the family, angel spirit guides. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. What more do you need to know, Gemini? Whatever's happening, you are on your way with this new eye-to-eye -eye love. Um, 
um, if you feel overwhelmed or mentally disturbed this week by other people and you or you're in prison or people aren't talking to you then it is a blessing in disguise because it it brings about an ending to some kind of situation which needed ending and it's saying all is well everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to so there's a divine union here something within the family new love a gift abundance something from the past might be a little bit dodgy and but it's it's all coming out okay take care and i will speak to you soon bye Gemini. please like share and subscribe bye, -bye.